Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. It's important to understand the different components that make up vSphere. First we have vCenter. This is what manages all of our hosts and our hosts are ESX servers. And to connect to vCenter to manage our ESX servers we use the vSphere client and this is what you're looking at right now. I'm using the vSphere client I'm connecting to my vCenter server and you can see down below here we have our different ESX hosts and these hosts are physical servers normally your vCenter server is also a physical server that has like Windows 2003 or Windows 2008 on it and vCenter runs on top of that. ESX is an operating system all its own. So we don't install a Windows operating system and then install the ESX application. ESX is the operating system that we install on the physical host. And then on our ESX servers we run virtual machines. And virtual machines have their own operating systems on them like Windows 2000, Windows 2003, Linux. And our virtual machines have their own virtual disks, their own virtual network adapters their own IP addresses and we can administer our virtual machines like we would normal virtual machines by using let's say a remote desktop or we can log in with the vSphere client to our vCenter server and actually open up the console of a virtual machine and it's as though we were on the keyboard monitor and mouse of that machine if it was physical and we can use the vSphere client from any desktop or any server to connect to our vCenter server to manage our whole environment. 